Hi, um, YouTube. This is the Learn Cantonese Fast channel. Uh, today I'm going to remake this episode on Cantonese pronunciation because somehow I feel really bad about it because I tested so many times in the past few weeks and I finally realized that there is really no falling tone in Cantonese. I used my guitar to test it so many times um, so I cannot be wrong. So uh, most of the dictionaries that you're using uh, that show that there are uh, Cantonese words with a falling tone, they are all wrong. Um, but in any case, let me uh, uh, start today's discussion on Cantonese tones. So for, so for those of you who do not have any exposure to my previous episode, uh, stay calm. I mean, just uh, just uh, follow what I, whatever I'm saying. In any case, um, uh, let me start by telling you that uh, Chinese is a dead language. There is no more Chinese. Um, uh, it's ridiculous to say that Cantonese is Chinese because it's just like English uh, and Latin. Okay? Latin is a dead language. Chinese is also a dead language. Okay? So we are now using uh, Chinese characters to form Cantonese phrases, just like um, English is using Latin roots to form English words. Okay? So, um, so for example, so giraffe, the word giraffe in English is Chang Lo in Cantonese and also in Mandarin, okay? But then uh, there are a lot of Cantonese phrases that are very different from the Mandarin phrases. So this is, uh, here we have a lot, uh, here we're pretty lucky because we have the same phrase for giraffe in Cantonese and in Mandarin. Right? So, but then even if we have the same phrases, we still pronounce the three words the, or the three, three characters differently. Right? So Cantonese has a very different tone system than Mandarin. Right? Some people try to claim that uh, Mandarin uh, the, the tone system in Mandarin is very similar to the tone system in Cantonese. They are, I think they're stupid. In any case, um, Chang Gang Lo, okay, so Chang Gang Lo is, Chang is long, Gang is the neck. Okay, so uh, it's a kind of like a deer, Lo is a deer. Okay? So it's kind of like a deer with a long neck, uh, ne uh, with a long neck. Okay? So that's what we call it, Chang Gang Lo Giraffe. Okay, but then you see that uh, in order to pronounce the three characters correctly in Cantonese, we need something like this. Uh, this is what we call the romanization system. Right, we need romanization for each and every character. Right, so here I'm using, uh, actually, um, um, in the future, in, in all my other episodes, I'm using something what we call the natural Cantonese romanization. It is a variant of Sidney Lau's romanization method. Right, but somehow I changed the tone. I uh, changed the tones, right? the, 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 in, more exactly the denotation of the tones. Right? So um, we have uh, different romanization, romanization uh, systems for denoting uh, the tone of uh, this, or the sound of a Cantonese word. For example, Sydney Lao is one of them which has been used in Hong Kong for uh, a long period of time. And then Yue Ping is something invented, or actually not, I wouldn't say invented. It's something that is copied from Sydney Lao and maybe Yale. Uh, and has been promoted by the Hong Kong Language Association or something like that. I don't, I don't know. And then the other system is the Yale system, which has, which has been used to teach Cantonese in the U.S. Uh, for quite a while now. Right, but in all these systems, we have the same structure for a denotate for the denotation of a uh, of its, of the sound of a word. Uh, the room, each and every romanization has divided a particular Chinese character into three. Parts, right? The Cantonese sound of the Chinese character in three parts, namely the initial, the final, and the tone. Okay, so uh, let me give you an example for an initial. Okay, so for, for example, uh, for the word gai, right, uh, uh, we can divide it into three parts, uh, namely the initial G, and then the final AI, and then the tone 1. Okay? So G is ga, uh, very similar to the uh, um, English word. Uh, uh, the English system, uh, ga, uh, it's like get, give, okay, ga. And then ai, uh, it's like ice uh, without the s, okay. So the gai, uh, gai, uh, and but then in, in Cantonese we have six tones. Right? So in order to denote the tone, we use uh, numbers, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then normally an initial is a consonant, it's just in the, just as the, in the case of gai, uh, g is a consonant, uh, it's a gai, okay. And then, uh, uh, this Cantonese sound of a Chinese character also has a final, 
Right? So a final, final normally is a vowel, either a, a vowel or a vowel plus a consonant ending. Right? That's a final. Okay, let me give you an example. Uh, in the word lang, okay. So in the word lang, we can de we can decompose the sound into three parts. Uh, the initial L, and then the final ENG plus the tone three. Okay. So la, ang, tone three, lang, right? Lang, 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 lang. Okay. So we have uh, a falling tone pattern for the six tones, right? According to the natural Cantonese romanization scheme. But then if you are using some other romanization methods such, such as uh, Sydney La or Yuan Ping or, or Yale, you do not have the correct pitch ranking. Right, so I'll, I'll talk more about this uh, later on and also in my other episode that I'll, I'll try to correct. Right, um, there are words that, has, uh, that have no initial. For example, in the word oi, meaning love. Right? O I has no initial, right? so an initial normally is a, a consonant. So you can see that there is no consonant here. So uh, that means uh, we have just the final, right? Plus a tone. Right? We always need a tone, right? So oi, uh, oi means love. Right? Oi, 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 oi. And then uh, the word, and then we also have words with no finals. For example, in the word mm, right? mm, 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 mm. just like when you go to the toilet, mm, okay? Mm, 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 mm. Right, which has no vowel in it. And there are three types of finals. Right, the first type of final has only a vowel, right, just like in the case of loy. Right, loy is composed of the initial L plus the final OI, right, just like the case of OI. Right. OI uh, sounds like OI, right. loy, 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 which has a, fi which is, which has a, uh, a tone of six, uh, which has the lowest pitch, and loy meaning come, right? So the final has only a vowel without any consonants. And the second type of final is composed of a vowel plus a nasal consonant. That's what I mean by nasal consonant. So for example, in the case of man, right, we have the initial M and then we have the final A-N-G. Right? Right, so the ma is the, is the sound of M, okay? Ma, ma, ma. An, uh, an. So like uh, under, under, right? Un, uh, uh, but then we have a lot of nasal at the, towards the end. So it sounds like man. Uh, so we use our, our nose a lot, like in the case of money, 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 right? Without the knee, but without e, right? Money, man, uh, man, uh, like Monday, Monday, right? And then uh, the third case of the final is a vowel plus a glottal stop consonant. So what do you mean by glottal stop consonant? Right? So for example, in the word uh, which mean which means no or or not, right? But right, but right, uh, it's like the English word but, but then we do we do not pronounce the the ending sound of t, right? So it's like but with notes, okay? So but then how do you pronounce it, right? So you prepare everything except for the final aspiration of the sound of t, right? So but is the English word, but then without t's, right? So in other words, you have to prepare. Uh, your tongue so that your the tip of your tongue is touching the top part of your mouth, right? And then right before you expire, you stop at your at your throat, right? So it's but without uh, but but uh, without but but right? Um, and there are six tones in Cantonese, right? So, so under the natural romanization method uh, or scheme, I have uh, tones one, two, three, four, five, six, and they are all in the correct pitch order. Right? So tone one has the highest pitch. And tone six has the lowest pitch, so. Uh, but then, when you when you compare this with Sydney Lao or Yuan Ping, you see that uh, in Sydney Lao, for example, they are one, two, three, five, six, four. Right? So the fourth tone has the lowest pitch, which is not natural because uh, the relative pitch of the or the relative pitches of the of the words in Cantonese is actually uh, they are actually very important because they allow you to uh, speak in the right tone. Right, so, and then the, the other important thing is that, uh, for example, in a word, uh, SI, for example, uh, for example here, uh, uh, word SI, uh, we have six different tones. And somehow we, have, we, can, we can have uh, a different word for a different tone. So a different tone represents a different word. Okay. So if you are using a different tone or a wrong tone to, to try to pronounce uh, the word, for example, C, uh, you, you, uh, people will understand it as not as C, but as something something else. 
So you do not, uh, in other words, you cannot be able to, uh, you are not able to produce the correct sound. Okay, so for example, uh, C, uh, C, C has six tones. So it's C, 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 C. Okay, so it sounds like the same to you, but then there are two important things. Right? The first thing is that each one of them has a different pitch. Right? So ranking from the highest pitch to the lowest pitch, right? from one to six. C, 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 tang, 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 tang. So you can hear the pitch difference between the words. And the second thing is that uh, there are actually two types of tones. Right? The, the first tone I would say, I, I would classify as a flat tone, meaning that it's always constant. Right? So like C, you don't see any pitch changes. Right? So from the beginning of the sound to the end of the sound, you have the constant pitch. Right? C, 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 C. Right? So they're all constant except for the pitch. Right, so pit, uh, uh, tone one has the highest pitch, tone six has the lowest pitch, and then the second type of tone is called what I would call the rising tone. Right, so what is a rising tone? Well, rising tone is you start with a lower pitch and then eventually towards the end you have to raise the pitch. Right, it's like C E C E C E dung 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 C E C E. Right, so in other words, you start with the lowest lower pitch and then eventually you have to raise the pitch towards the end. This is why I would call it rising rising pitch also. Sometimes what I would call I would call it sliding tone. Right? So C C uh, sorry C C C C right? C E C E right? so we start with a lower pitch and then eventually we have to raise the pitch towards the end. Right? So there there is the flat tone and there is the rising tone. And then some people especially especially some so called linguists they will they will try to, uh, they, they will say that in Cantonese we have something like uh, eight tones, like ping, song, hoi, yap, so flat, uh, rising, falling, and then we'll sometimes, some, some, uh, and then and, and the glottal. But this is not a very good classification system, especially because, first of all, the glottal sound is just another final. Right? And then uh, the falling tone actually does not exist. I tried it so many times using my guitar and using my musical knowledge, it does not exist. Uh, so uh, believe it or not, in, a, in any case, um, so uh, uh, the pitch pattern of two words next to each other must follow the tone pattern. So in other words, everything is relative. Right? So you see two words, uh, two characters, guy, C, uh, guy has tone, has tone one, C has tone four. So in this case, guy must have a higher pitch than C. Right? So uh, I if you somehow mess up with the pitch, you cannot pronounce the two characters correctly. Uh, guy C, they cannot say sky C. Uh, C is another word, uh, especially because C, uh, C is this word, meaning silk. Okay, so guy, guy is the street. C, C is the place, right, or, or a market. So guy C is the marketplace, right. If you somehow mess up with the tone of C, uh, you, in, instead of a, a lower pitch, you pronounce it using a higher pitch, then you 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 end up with something that people cannot understand. So uh, the relative pitch pattern is very important, especially for phrases. In any case, um, I will produce another video on uh, to replace another uh, uh, Cantonese pronunci uh, pronunciation episode. Yeah, and uh, hopefully, if you have time, you can uh, also visit my website, www.freehongkong.net. I'll see you next time. Bye.